Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Green Force tries really hard not to make an immigrant joke. Um, yeah, I have no idea what this is all about. Just started the game. Um, so I guess, th yeah, you won't be able to see any immigration. Oh, you can see a tin, tiny bit, yeah. Christian San Portorex. Interesting. Yeah, okay. We have 4,000 immigrants from India flocking into the UK. And the Russians and Greeks moving to Arabia. I guess they're all being assimilated. If No, no, no. 6% Greek in Tabuk. What has happened to this world? Bulgarians and Greeks are going to the Ratanakosin Kingdom? Sure, sure, sure. Holy moly, this is some spicy ravioli. I guess this, this, this is what happens when you uh, turn all of the Latin American nations into a shithole. The Empire of Brazil uh, stays a shithole and the United States are at war. Means that... Okay, they're still getting immigrants though, that's rather interesting. Not sure how exactly they're pulling that off, but whatever. But yeah, uh, we'll need to keep an eye on this. This is pretty funny. Uh, I guess, yeah. Yeah, it's even Polish people! This is actually like... <laughs> this is actually like... Uh, you know, this is why I'm struggling to not make a joke, because this, this is like actual... Actually historic, right here. I think the capital is about 50% immigrant these days. Um... But, you know, it's fair to say that about half of those, again, would be reasonably assimilated, so... Uh, and they wouldn't show up. And I guess the immigrants wouldn't come from China. They would come from, like, you know... Um, Somalia is big. And Kurdistan. I grew up in an area with a lot of Kurds. A lot of them were nice, though, so uh, that was not an issue. Well, some of them were cunts, but... I feel like as they grew up, they became nice. And I guess I was such a little weakling that, you know, can I even blame them for being mean to me? Anyways, let's not... <laughs> oh, I haven't even been drinking. Let's not... Well, I mean, I'm working on it, but let's not delve into the, that kind of memes. Ah, th this isn't Twitch, though, so... I, I, well, hmm, I guess YouTube is technically more... Uh, more restrictive when it comes to edgy jokes and memes. But of course, um, but in you, but on YouTube, all you do is like you get demonetized, or I don't know. Let's just get the war going. Keep the war going. I mean, add more war goals. Then we have a diplomat and route. We shall wait then. Okay, so it seems we can finally peace out with the French. Um, let's do that. Yeah, it took a while to get all the war goals, but uh, yeah. As you can see, we are <laughs> annexing quite a lot of land. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to rely on um, on uh, this Mantle Empire, so we just went apeshit. Um, as I'm pretty sure I have mentioned. Um, yeah, I'm also fabricating on Portugal because I realized that as long as we are in a war together with Germany, the Germans won't be able to defend them. And I would like to secure Portugal. Yeah, France was basically fully occupied. Also, you might be wondering this. Um, yes, yeah, so I decided not to dismantle France. And another reason for that is that I didn't like the dismantlement borders you get. So I decided instead of doing the Dismantle Empire, which gives you this province, this province, Andorra, and Perpignan, I really only wanted Perpignan, and so uh, I decided to just add that as a war goal instead, and then I'm going to cheat away these provinces and just, you know, console command them to uh, back to France. But yeah, now our empire should look rather cancerous indeed, yes, here we are. Glorious uh, lands everywhere. I see I forgot one little chunk. Okay, well, that's... fuck. Did I forget the... oh, yep, yep, forgot that. 
Mm, okay, well, well, we got the shit there, so I'm not gonna be a bitch about it. Even if that was a bit of an oversight. Uh, Uvel? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I mean, at this point, everything is cancer, so what the fuck? It's just like, look at this absolute cancer assembly. Like, we own all of this in Asia, we own all of this in Africa. Uh, oh yeah, Japan was fucking about over here. Though it seems like they have bailed, so I guess the army I was making to try and deal with that is no longer needed. No, oh, select the fucking... Oh. Ah, okay, whatever then. Yeah, we have some issues here in China. Uh, I'm trying to get a new frontline going. The Japanese found a new secret way by just walking around Mongolia. Good on you, Mongolia, though, for not giving access. Right proper of you. Uh, that navy is getting killed. Well, oh well. It'll have to be. Yeah, we should be able to stabilize there. And then once once they start suiciding their stacks on me, we can start um, pushing them back here. This sucks, though, because this loses us quite a lot of war score. Uh, so this means that the American war will have to drag on for some time more. But then again, as I said... Uh, shit, why can't I... Control your shit. I guess maybe because I ended a war? Yeah, I might have to give them back their units and then take them again. But that's fine. That is fine. Yeah, the war in America, going fine. The Americans are pretty sick of it at this point. They, uh, I mean, at this point I'm... I, well, I've been the one attacking for a while, except for up here. We're just trying to... Yeah, wow, I lost control of all my units, didn't I? Well, that sucks. Bullshit. Yeah, so it's mainly just this army right here. This attack four dude who's just running around cleaning up these stacks that remain. Stack wiping what must be stack wiped, and hopefully we can occupy America faster than the Chinese can occupy China. And secure that war score. Then again, I do want to drag the war on long enough so we can do the invasion of, um, of Nippon. Bread riots. I'm not going to take that kind of militancy. Yeah, well, militancy is a little bit pretty spicy. Probably will have to do do a reform soon, but but that's to be expected. Well, this strikes me as a bit of a pointless event. Treaty of Amsterdam. Um, yeah, we have no interest in their colonies because, as far as I know, they don't have any colonies anymore. The uh, the Portuguese do though, so we need to yes get in there. Hopefully this will be relatively straightforward. Yeah, I guess these various troops can do that. Uh, where is my transports? You are just some pepegas. Uh, there's some transports. Yeah, once again this is boring. I'm, I don't. I'm not gonna show this show this to you guys, he says as he continues to show it to you guys, but there's the transport fleet. Ever so slightly dead though, so I guess we want to help it out. Actually, no, never mind, this one is healthy. I guess, the, yeah, I guess he's sitting in a bad port. It's getting him, get him into like a proper directly controlled port. I don't need too many troops though, just memeing in the mainland of Portugal should do the trick. It should be mostly straightforward. We're already taking every province, so we are going to lose a lot of dudes trying to win this battle, but it's better than him being allowed to like run about. Oh yeah, get those losses in. Lovely. Yeah, here come the mobilized guys. Well, at least we got there before he was able to properly establish his memes. So it should be fine. Well, see, so yeah, it really is time for a thing. Let's get state controlled. So the perfect absolutism must be abolished, I guess, but uh, it'll have to do. Let's kill his navy so that we don't get any war exhaustion. International enemy. Oh, speaking of war exhaustion, that's where the war exhaustion was. Right. Yeah, this is a dumbass. I need to make like an infamy mod one of these days. I think we're late enough in the game to where it shouldn't matter too much at this point, but I think this is dumb. I feel like this is, like, this modifier should go, like, not only is the monthly war exhaustion stupid, because, like, you know, because monthly war exhaustion is just a different word for rebels. And once again, I do not, I do not understand why, quote-unquote, going over the infamy limit should kill your nation. Uh... 
as I've said multiple times before, the um, nations who historically went over the infamy limit never had many revolts. Like Hitler and Napoleon, France. To be fair, they were rather good at the whole suppression thing, but uh, surely we are, surely we are too at this point. Let's also actually just get in here, fuck some shit up. All right, there we are. Portugal becomes a puppet of the Kingdom of Spain, as it was always meant to. That was pretty straightforward, actually. Now, please, can we wrap this one up as well? We cannot. Bye. You have enough war score. Come on, eh? I guess we just need to drag this war. I mean, at this point, it's pretty straightforward. He has no forces anymore. America is dead. It's all just a uh, the meme. See, I forgot. Did I mention last episode what I was doing? I think I just hinted at it. So I'm gonna keep the uh, the surprise open of what cancer I've done with my war goals. And again, I, th I assume a lot of people will be able to guess what I'm going on about. All right, my dudes. So yeah, hundred <clears throat> percent. Um, as you can see here, I have added a lot. You will see just exactly what in a minute. I do want to mention though that I also plopped in some other stuff because I had some war score to spare after I had done the cancer I wanted in the United States. So we'll clean up our East Asian holdings a bit. But yeah, let's have a look at this utter memory. Yes, that is good shit. Louisiana approaches back into the Spanish crown. Oh yeah, that's how that was meant to be. <laughs> and of course, a land bridge to Florida. Are you happy now, comment section? Uh, yeah. So in order to make it truly clean, we will need to invade Canada. I have had a truce with them, and I still do, so I can't do it quite yet. But we should have enough time before the game wraps up. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, look at these holdings, this is clean, well, except for this little oof right here. And this little oof, I wonder if we can do something about that. Um, like, I guess we can do, like, a test there. Fuck, we have a truce? Oh, eh, maybe. And again, though, that's around the same time as uh, Canada will be invaded, so... Oh, here are our buttons. Oh, Brunei Protectorate. Oh, okay, so we can get him uh, get him as a puppet as well. Do we just want to do that then? Instead of well, it's not like that decision is going to go away, so we could just wait it out and have a look and see uh, if annexing annexing him is proves itself to be realistic. We can create a state in Laos. I guess we can. I mean, sure. It's not like you're going to say no to that. That's pretty funny. Uh, this is good though. Which I guess you guys aren't needed anymore. Woodward Coast, very nice. Get that statehood. Oh, see, I look at this Kingdom of Spain. Uh, Italy is about to crumble, but that's life. Very good shit. The absolute. I, I don't know. I can't remember the last time I've blobbed just this much. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I fucked up a tad. Um. I guess I should not have enforced that uh, that war goal on the on the Dutch. Fuck! I guess I have to go into the files and fix it because this is what I'm talking about. Now that you get no more war, that combines with the over the infamy or over the infamy modifier, which results in like um, it results in you having positive in, uh, war exhaustion gain while at peace, which I think is completely retarded. Um, yeah, no, I'll 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 go and I'll go and undo that because I don't know. That seems like a mechanic they just put in there without really thinking of the consequences because it's it's stupid. We're at peace now. Like, why would you now get war exhaustion? It doesn't add up. I don't understand it. Like, especially like maybe if you lose and the people are pissed at you, but we won. We're fucking the biggest empire in the world. Why the fuck are the people going to be salty? Like, I don't understand. This is all confusing to me. Yeah, give me a second, I need to go fix this. Oh shit. Uh, yes, I went ahead and fixed that shit, but it seems China finally realized that uh, them being my puppet is a bit odd. Uh, we respect Chinese sovereignty. Please don't invade, Plex. Yeah, 
it still says Spanish nationalist China, but he's now a great power, so he's not he's no longer feeling it. There's a decent enough chance he will invade us, though. So we do, yeah, I, I do have some troops on the borders, but we should uh, we should get some more buys over there. So far, no one else has invaded me, though, so I'm not too worried. But don't want to take that risk. What the fuck is this shit? Lack of maintenance goods? Come on, man. Get maintenance goods. I guess it's the over the infamy limit, Ufawi. Maybe. Maybe we just have to build more boats then. Like build a local East Asian uh, meme thing. Indochina, give me boats. And East Indies, I guess. Just just build. Build all the things. Suppress everything. Yep. Literally, let's tell you guys to fuck the fuck off. Thank you. And get the troops we forgot about <laughs> into our own lands. And begin the process of re-establishing control. No, stop asking. Alright, so now that we're at peace, we're starting like a massive uh, statification program. I've been making some states here and there off screen, uh, just because, you know, I don't want to bring you guys into all these shenanigans, but yeah. There's actually some decent Spanish pops in quite a lot of these places, so um, yeah, I guess just having a look at like the admin map mode gives you an idea. So this one might be able to be status statified. That one already is. So yeah, it looks something like this. This whole region is becoming statify statified nicely. So that's that's all good shit. Very good shit. Well, I guess nothing over here would really. Well, we did get Laos. So that was pretty funny, but. Don't think anything else would be. Uh, maybe Cochin China. Maybe, maybe. Spaniards are settling their lands, that's for sure. I mean, the Philippines are basically like an integral part. If only I had a culture change mod in, I would strongly consider going a bit uh, genocidal here, because. Um, fuck, I could go install it, but that would require actually updating it, though. Oof. I don't know. Alright, we can finally do bankruptcy. I'm honestly surprised that previous Green Force has not done this, but as I just... Well, as that little pop-up that should have popped up said, I haven't played this for a while. Uh, I guess we only just got the technology now or something? I don't fucking know. Honestly, I just need to wrap this up so we can... Um, so I can go play something else. <laughs> oh my god, I've been such so bad at the procrastinating. <laughs> When did I start this campaign? Like half a year ago? Okay, maybe not that much, but it's been um, it's been a while. I see we're about to lose uh, Italy. That's not fun. Yeah. Also, no need to tell me what nation I should play as. Well, I mean, feel free to give suggestions as always. But I, I have a I have an idea, very standard idea that is, but an idea. So I basically know what I intend to do. Yeah, if I, I mean, I, I'm sure I just said it in this episode, but I just haven't been... Obviously, obviously, I don't remember what the hell I did in this episode. Uh, but yeah, we need to pick up the rest of Canada. Or, well, no, I mean the rest of this little chunk of land so that we can uh, get good borders. I honestly think I'm just going to give up on the whole fixed Germany thing because honestly, I can't be bothered at this point. Maybe I'll cheat a bit and release Hungary um, just in the end, just to, um, you know, just to... Because honestly, this is stupid. Like, Germany should not be allowed to have cores. Like, I get they should be able to do, like... Um, they should be able to take that, you know, 50 infamy option or whatever when they form Uber Deutschland. But, uh, which, you know, would let them annex all of the Austrian Empire. But they should not get fucking cores on Hungary. That's horseshit. Maybe on uh, on this province, yeah. Udeburg. Because that's that even starts with mostly Germans in it. Kind of like Eisenstadt, despite being Hungarian core territory, but yeah. Rant over. Yeah, we can't do anything right now because of the No More War. So, so Italy has fallen. Uh, fascists are about to take over. Um, I mean, it's not like the freaking freaking uh, infamy matters at this point. I would like to force them back in my sphere. Uh, I might wait until they become fascists, or, hmm. I wonder if that would let me sort of permanently station troops in their nation. 
right now I need to get some more troops over here. I mean, also because of a slight, you know, speaking of Italian problems. <laughs> Gotta go deal with this little awkward situation, but yeah. Uh, that should be doable. If, of course, I have, you know, I have absolutely no idea where my navy is. There's my navy. That was easy. Nope, that's not the transport navy. Oh, don't tell him it's in the middle of effing nowhere. Okay, we can finally justify. So let's do that. So was they were they always a great power? I mean, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I've played enough Victoria to, to know that great power uh, Canada is not, you know, ludicrously unusual, but it is still interesting, I guess. <laughs> Insert joke about China trying to claim uh, Tibet. Britain is stepping up to the challenge, though. Ah, my little creation. Uh, at least I remember that. If only because I got so many upvotes on... Well, you know, not, not that many, but I still got... For, from my sort of relevance, I got a decent chunk of upvotes when I posted my cancerous China puppet on Reddit. Alright, uh, so the war against Canada has started. Uh, sorry for skipping the beginning of it. I jumped out of the game and stopped my recording to edit what I had recorded so that I could see exactly how long the episode was. Basically, I wanted to know if this was going to be the last episode or the second to last episode. Um, also, that part of the front line doesn't add up. Uh, that'll work though. But yeah, uh, so I basically sat here and talked to myself for a while, talking about the war and shit. But yeah, no, I think this is just going to be the last episode at this point, honestly. Like, who's what? I don't know. I, I guess I really need to get this episode out in order for... Um, in order to show off the Umeo cancer that is <laughs> Spanish Louisiana. Um, I'm a bit proud of that. Well, I don't know. I don't know what, what what you would want to call it, but the amount of fucks granted to the memes going on here are more limited these days. It's a trap. Oh, I, I guess it is. Bunkers. Yeah. So the Canadians are falling par falling apart rather efficiently, I dare say. Uh, yeah, I mean, this you, this used to be a huge stack. I think you guys saw that or something. Also, look at this lag, holy fuck. <laughs> I just installed my new graphics card, and then again, I guess that really doesn't matter in uh, Victoria too. Probably need to buy another... Uh, what do you call it? Processor or whatever, as well. Or, um, fuck, maybe a new computer entirely. Yeah, let's see what kind of war score we get for this. 33 war score, yep. We should be able to wrap this up soon enough. Let's keep pushing. And secure what we have gained. <laughs> Mania is having a fascist coup d'etat. Uh, that has to be the most common event in all of Victoria too. Also, I noticed the, uh, the, the Russians went over the infamy limit, I think, and then the Germans are having fun in, you know, in Eastern Europe because well I mean Germany seems to have a lot a m much easier time invading oh yeah hello what wait how do they have zero war score or zero military power if they have I don't know that that doesn't really add up but I think we can piece out the Canadians at this point um, yes yeah so because of uh, like you know, slightly artistic game mechanics. Uh, we had to add the dismantle war goal before we were allowed to add all the other shit. So yeah, thank thank you, Victoria, too, for forcing me to add a war goal. I am incapable of enforcing, making it making me lose one thousand five hundred um, prestige. You know, fucking brilliant game design there. Oh, I guess this this is actually the modder's fault. I don't know who thought this was a good idea. Well, I guess it's a combination of, I don't know, it's stupid. Like, the fact that you have to add, like, it, but I swear, sometimes you don't have to either, so, ah, fuck if I know. It's stupid. It's omega autistic. Let us get the borders that we desire. Ooh, look at that straight line. That is good ravioli right there. Oh man! Look at the Spanish-American Empire. Oh boy. I have done it. I have finally successfully played Spain and I am content and I can finally stop having you know Spain on the to-do list 
Ah, I just need to do another French campaign at some point with all the shenanigans they can get up to in this mod and then I guess I need to finally play Germany, which I haven't ever played really. Uh, I've never formed Germany in Victoria 2, so I need to get that done at some point. Oof, so much, so much, so much work in this mod. It's because I'm such an utter, like, no, well, not perfectionist, but I, you know, I can't just casually play Spain. I need to just go mental, you know, gotta take all the dumbass little islands, gotta make sure everything is righteous, you know, refusing to form. Well, I guess I couldn't even have formed the Iberia if I wanted to, but yeah. Also, yeah, we've been doing a bunch of uh, state formation off screen. Um, because, you know, that's what I do. Mysterian's lands of. Have we not done this already? Yeah, well, you better give me fucking. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, what? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if, know if that works perfectly. <coughs> uh, yeah, give me that. I, it's fucking annoying how you have to click that every time you make a state, but I'm sure there's some reason for it. But yeah, now we just need to wait until the game is over. And then we'll do the, you know, the standard. Let's have a look around and see what kind of shenanigans has been happening. You know, sadly, the, my uh, migration into Sicilia here has not stopped them from revolting. I've had a lot of fucking nationalist revolts in this uh, playthrough. Uh, yeah, I guess I didn't show you many of them for obvious reasons. In the same way, I didn't show you all the times so I had to click the fucking button to make a state. But, you know, I, we'll have a look at this later. Um, or every time I upgraded some meme ass. Yeah, but yeah. Um... But yeah, it's uh, it's all good meme. So, um, makes man think. But I don't know, I'm going to go into the depth of those issues later. So, I will see you when we're when the game is done. And there we are, finally uh, done with this campaign. Uh, shit, give me a second. I need. To, I want to just see how long was it since I actually started this. <laughs> I checked it and it is almost, uh, it is one day away from being exactly five months. So, um, although of course by the time this goes up, yeah, maybe I will wait to post it until tomorrow as of me recording this just so that it is exactly five months. <laughs> Sorry about that. I mean, only, well, I mean, you know, at least I finished it. Unlike a certain Belgian campaign that I never recorded the final episode for. <coughs> <laughs> But, you know, YouTubers sort of just casually abandoning uh, campaigns is not massively abnormal. Denmark invading Urumqi, on the other hand, that is a bit abnormal, but then again, this is a awkward campaign, so... Yeah, let's have a look at the uh, shenanigans that's been going on in this world. So, we have, of course, our own kingdom. Uh, thick as fuck. Dismantlements and just colonial acquisitions everywhere. Also, yeah, Russia has gotten the mo uh, demobilized, the dismantled. And Kiva got. Oh, yeah, because Kiva and Bukhara for some reason never were annexed. For reasons I don't know. Um, something is broken in those events, I guess. Yeah, Romania and fascists. I mean, I assume Greece is. No, Greece is not actually fascist. Well, they're thinking about it, but they never quite got there, I guess. Yeah, so. Not enough time to get uh, the German Empire to annex this territory, but, you know, I'm sure they would have done that eventually. Northern Sweden, yeah, no, nothing else super interesting there. I mean, there is the awkward little fact that Bulgaria ended up as our puppet. I think I read something in HFM, or HPM, I mean. HFM does not really... he's not very active anymore, is he? Um, yeah, there was some talk about about whatever event it is like I, I read something at least about the fact that whatever it whatever it is then lets you just randomly puppet people like this like i i assume it was the same event that i puppeted that chinese state also oh kamchatka west redlicious anyone who got that reference i am very glad in you that sentence doesn't work in english well but yeah this is also what i really reacted to why is korea okay who knows Buryatia, of course. I mean, this is like the standard sort of Russian sub-republic today, isn't it? Like, like some meme-ass republic where it supposedly is all about the Mongols, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's barely Mongol and it's mostly just Russian. It's like that joke of a Jewish state over in Eastern Russia. 
or you know, obviously it's an internal thing, but it's called the Federation for a reason. Uh, but there's like no Jews there because they have all said, yeah, fuck this, we're gonna go to Israel instead. And there were never that many there in, to begin with, so... Yeah, Nationals China, our little, our little creation. I mean, well, to be fair, we didn't create any of it. They created that themselves. But uh, we had them as a puppet for a while, which was funny. Semi-constitutional monarchy at War with Britain. Uh, proud, proud. Proud father, yeah. Japanese uh, Pakistan. Supposedly the new HPM has um, has some events or has fixed or to some extent improved India to where like the new owner of the Indian provinces will get like will get the previous puppets. But for what I've seen with a lot of the new HPM stuff, it's not super smooth. We of course in annex Indonesia as if that wasn't enough. Um, yeah, we got Burma. Philippines. I think this ended up looking quite nice, to be honest. This is a bit meme -y, but maybe well. Yeah, we also have that little chunk of territory. Yeah, Africa is glorious, of course. And of course, the crown jewel is the restored Spanish Empire in the Americas. Our claims have been... Think, think, think. I mean, yeah, I did finally take Florida, so now maybe the comment section will tolerate me. Um... I mean, I even got the Los Malvinas, right? Islas Malvinas, yes. What did I... What did the Spanish claim here that I have not taken? I guess maybe they pushed their claims a bit up here, but obviously they never did anything up there, so that, I'm not sure if that can, I don't, I'm not sure if that counts. Also, I should totally have annexed Hawaii, because, you know, it's not like infamy was a limit, but, well, I can't do that now, can I? Um... You yeah, know, I think we got our claims, right? I mean, presumably the Spanish claimed a decent chunk of Brazil at some point, but once again, those claims were Mimi. Equally as Mimi as this claim, and we took that at least, so we we, we, we put some work in. I like how it's already 1% Spanish. Good job, colonizers. And we even got some extra claims down here in the south in order to desperately try and make this little border make look good. I like this Mississippi border, though, uh, even if this is a bit awkward. Just kind of a straight line. Well, uh, it's proper colonialism though, isn't it? Uh, and I know someone's going to be angry at me for not taking Brazil, but we are we are Spain, we're not Portugal. I very intentionally did not form Iberia. Probably could have. I'm pretty sure you can change back to Spain after becoming Carlist Spain. At least I'm, I've seen the AI do it, so I, I, I know I could have, but I didn't want to. So I want to be the Kingdom of Spain. Gloriously reactionary. Yeah, I did have to put the conservatives in power, and I did have to pass some reforms. Uh, mostly uh, trade unions to try and keep infamy at bay, but it was mostly just nationalism, uh, which has to do with this modifier, obviously. The uh, militancy for not accepted kind of got a bit out of hand, but, you know, I was dealt with. We had, we had, we had our forces. Also, yeah, we also got no more war, actually, after um, after the war with Canada. So even if I wanted to, I wouldn't have been able to invade Germany. So uh, we would never would have been able to truly look at the, you know, what I feel like the map should look like. But my senses of good-looking things aside, what is there to do? Uh, infrastructure, no one cares. I mean, administration efficiency is kind of interesting to see that we got so much in administration efficiency in these colonies, for example. As we will see in the... Yeah, we can just jump to the culture map mode right now, actually. Yeah, okay, well, you can't see a lot of Spanish here, but there there, there are definitely Spanish settlements there. Not, not like Italy levels in the Italian campaign, or Papal Italy campaign, which is the only Italian campaign I've ever really done. But yeah, <laughs> Central Africa, though, is really uh, fucking uh, Spanish. Well, I guess that has more to do with the... Uh, the uh, oh, yeah, look at these. 4% Yankee? What? I thought... I thought Americans were not allowed to migrate to Africa. I guess I guess if they're owned by a European, they get to do it. So I guess, yeah, there we go. We somehow got around that restriction. Uh, yeah, we somehow made Yoruba states a state. I don't know how we pulled that off, considering the low pops. Uh, yeah, I've got the Germans and the British and the English, I should say. Uh, colonizing their little chunks. I mean, I guess they would be rather focused in their colonization now that we just took everything else. 
Got some provinces in North Africa that got a Spanish plurality. This is also really fun though. We got this one Spanish province in uh, Sardinia that ended up Spanish majority. The classic English colonization of the Highlands happened. I think this is why HPM does not bother with splitting uh, Scottish and English culture because you get these kinds of awkward situations like this. Uh, the Swedes have done a decent job at colonizing Finland though after they united their little empire. The Russians, as always, have been assimilating like madmen, like Trans-Caucasia, more like Trans-Russia. Like, look at this madness. Like, there's no... there's barely any Baltic people left in the freaking Baltics, so... That's interesting. Um, yeah, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan. The only thing that saved these countries were... Um, were, you know, the fact that some bug prevented them from being annexed. I'll have to like manually annex them or something if next time I play this mod. China did a lot of colonization as well. They would do that, wouldn't they? Yeah, the Japanese too. Got some nice pops over in Korea. Uh, hey, look at that. We actually have a Spanish plurality province over in, um, in the Philippines. How comfy. Speaking of the Rhone Valley, I'm slurping some Rhone wine right now. It's decent enough. Okay, I was gonna now. I'll shut about. I'm not gonna go on some wine rant. Uh, but yeah, so the French never really bothered um, assimilating their minorities, or maybe they tried to, but they failed or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, the Germans, however, managed to colonize their territories quite efficiently. We have North Germans migrating down to Tyrol. Luxembourg got completely swamped by Germans. Uh, Brussels became majority uh, French-speaking, or plurality, I should say. Although you know, you know what, you know what I understand. Or you you know what I mean. Uh, which is historic, I guess. It is like that today. Mm, I did actually end up with Crete as a state as well, even if the majority are still Greek and Egyptian. Mm, yeah, I would say more. Wait, what? There's like... What? Why is there no people here? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Well, if that's the case, then there's actually more Egyptians on Crete than Greeks. So... Yeah, the Ottoman Empire managed to colonize their stuff. I mean, that's quite aesthetic, actually. If only I could, like, donate this to them without breaking... Well, I guess I could have done that, actually. I probably should have done that, to be honest. I could have released um, Salicia and, uh, you know, left it open so that they could have swept in and claimed it. But... Uh, as with other things, that's all in hindsight, and I'm not in a mood to... Well, I mean, I, I guess there isn't anything I could even have done here. I guess I, I, I guess I did rush this end bit of the game a bit. I could have been a bit more observant to have a look at all these small, smaller details. The Italians colonized... Uh, oh yeah, quite efficiently colonizing this area. Uh, actually, no, this is ours. Oh yeah, but I guess they didn't get time to colonize Tripolitania. Fair enough. I guess I shouldn't blame the Italians when it is my fault that they didn't get to do what they would have done, I'm sure. Um, that's all the ethnic... well, I guess Latin America. I mean, yeah, we got some Spanish people migrating to Cuba. Yeah, look at this. The re-establishment of Spanish authority in Cuba and the security of these lands. The Bahamas, some islands, Panama, Guyana. Span I mean, this is truly a multicultural empire. Truly indeed. Any Spanish migration? Oh yeah, some slivers. Come on, click the bastard province, thank you. Nation Minor. Yeah, 1% Spanish, New Orleans, Florida perhaps, no? A uh, eh, couple of Spaniards are starting to are, are starting the slow process of reclaiming their righteous lands. Um, because you know, even if New Orleans was definitely always a French place, uh, I think it was like, as a colonial holding before the Americans held it, the Spanish held it almost longer than... The, well, not longer than the French, but, you know, they held it in the, the later period. I mean, Napoleon retook it, but only barely before he sold it again, so... Uh, I'm not going to go deeper into that, because I just don't perfectly remember how that all works. Yeah, it would have been nice to get uh, German Cameroon and shit like that in order to uh, really clean up the map of Africa here, but it's it's fine. As I said, even if I wanted to invade Germany, I wouldn't have been able to, so... 
Uh, migration, eh, nobody cares. I guess we can have a look at civilization level. Just to see what we statify. Yeah, Laos. Yeah, there, there's a couple of places here that I statify that I didn't ever point out. But yeah, all of sort of East... Yeah, we've got a nice little belt of statified areas here. Uh, and some West African stuff too. North Africa, we've got a little sort of chunk here of sort of integrated territory. I think that all kind of worked out. The Holy Land as well has been righteously incorporated into the glorious Balanish realm. Spanish migration to Cyprus as an outpost of the Glorious Kingdom has been happening. And I've completely forgotten to upgrade all my naval bases, but you know, at this point that just doesn't matter anymore, so who cares? Um, yeah, I think that's it. You know what? Let me real quick uh, do a bit of cheating. I just want to see. I just want. I just want the final sort of screenshot of the glorious empire to to look the way it should. Um, tiger. So, if I just release Hungary. Oh, wow, well, they didn't even get those? Okay, fine, we'll have to release a bit more then. Um, where are you, Croatia? See, that's how it should have looked. Well, I, I guess the Germans probably could have gotten away with owning uh, this area, but it's just me tells, meme tells. See, isn't this much nicer? Is this not much, much, a much nicer looking Europe? Even if the German name placement is a bit stupid. Can I? Yeah, release. Ground Hungary independence. Ground Croatia independence. Ah, but the name placement won't update, will it? Um. Oh well. That is, a, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's that's not legitimate, <coughs> regardless. So um, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much for. Also, I did not notice. What the fuck is this? Ah, oh, I guess Russia got dismantled, and as a result, this cancer happens. Well, that's just frustrating. Wow, Sweden didn't even get this. Well, I guess at this point, it's barely Swedish. It's mostly Russian, but still, that's frustrating. Uh, yeah, you know what, let's leave this cursed world behind, and I don't know, I'll go find another campaign, or another nation to play, that will hopefully be equally as cursed, uh, well, not hopefully, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll see what I can get going. I have some ideas, I'll have to, uh, consult my Discord. Which you, which you should totally join, by the way. If you you know if you if you play some random game of uh, Victoria 2 and you ever feel like taking a screenshot and posting it to some people and you know just to share your work, then uh, then yeah, my Discord is an excellent place to get or to just have people. Well, I mean, you know, if you make a nice empire, you people will like I don't know have a wank and come to it. And if it's awful, then I guess you will learn that too. But well, that is um, I need to stop saying well. Uh, I have this. Yeah, uh, okay, Let, blah, blah, blah. getting distracted. Thank you so much for watching uh, this episode, and also thanks so much for watching this series. Sorry for the many, many delays, but uh, thank you for, you know, sticking with it. And yeah, uh, until next time, and until the next series, bye. <laughs>